But one of my favorite lines to say is, being a nerd is cool. A lot of people say, oh yeah, being a nerd is totally cool, and they just write it off. But I have personal experiences of people making fun of me and calling me names such as too nerdy or too geeky or weird. And I take all of those moments and I remember all of those times and I tell the little girl in front of me who's working on the robot that hey, when you go back to school or when you go home, remember that being a nerd is cool. Embrace it and love it. Hi everyone, my name is Lavanya Jawaharlal. I am 22 years old and running my own business. So whenever I get the question of where are you from, I always have to pause and think about it for a little bit. As a child, I grew up all over the country. I was born in Boston, I moved to Michigan and then New Jersey, and finally out to here in Southern California. Growing up, I always had the opportunities to play with different robots because my parents would come home and bring me some different toys. For example, I remember when I got my first Barbie horse and I was really excited to play with it, except my vision of playing was actually taking apart that horse and finding out how the gears worked on the inside. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. We set up a creativity center for students from five years old all the way up to college to learn how to design, build, and program. A lot of times you're sitting in school and you're thinking, why am I learning this? For eight hours a day, you're supposed to absorb all of this information and somehow spit it back out. Here at STEM Center USA, we want our kids learning by doing. That means getting their hands dirty. It means programming, building, designing, and creating. Enabling them to learn about coding and programming in a fun and interactive way. This company didn't start out as a company. It actually started out as a hobby. So my sister and I first started out when we were in ninth and 10th grade, and we were just working with kids that would come into our house. They were local neighbors. And as word got out, more and more parents wanted us working with their children. Pretty much our living room, instead of becoming a family space, became a space of robotics and a ton of different kids. And our parents were very supportive, but they also said that eventually we needed to move out and find our own space. We ended up finding and leasing a space in Pomona where we really got that company started. But the entire concept came from a love for working with kids and just engineering and design. I see in you guys something that I think is really, really important to women. I think both of you are extremely impressive. I like what you're doing, I like the concept, and I like what it will do for young women. I'm gonna offer you 150,000 for 20%. We were in season seven of last year. And I was so ecstatic to be on that show, to have the opportunity to share our idea to the world. After airing, what I realized was this incredible amount of expectation that fell on my shoulders. Literally, we would get hundreds of phone calls from people all over the world wanting to know when we were gonna expand to their city or their country. My professors at school were constantly asking me when I went in for office hours about homework, how work was or how we, our expansion plans were going. And so while Shark Tank was a highlight of my life, it immediately dropped this weight on me that it was almost too much to bear. And it was scary. I, I was on this high of being on this incredible TV show. I had the opportunity to meet so many different people, but at the same time, there was a lot of self-doubt. There was now millions of people all over, all over the world that knew about the company, that knew about me. They would recognize my face, and all of a sudden they would have this expectation. And it was scary. It was something that I didn't necessarily talk about to anyone because I felt like it sounded weird. How could I, as this entrepreneur, be scared after being on Shark Tank? But for me, it was a lot of self-reflection. It enabled me to think about what is it that I really want to do? Yes, all of this media is shining down on me and this pressure from my friends, family, professors to random strangers. And to really overcome it, it was a matter of my sister and I just taking our own personal time, getting away from the cameras, getting away from the outside world to reevaluate where we were. A lot of times you get so mixed up in everything that's going on around you that you need to just sit down and look at why did I start this company? What were those things that first made me excited and passionate about, about that project? And so I had to really think about it and come back to that place where I first started the company to realize that I needed to keep going forward for myself and for my students, not for everyone else in the world. When I work with little girls, 
little girls of color that would otherwise not know about robotics, it makes a huge difference for me. What I see this company doing in the future is making an impact, showing students that STEM is cool, that engineering is fun and interactive, and that anyone, regardless of their backgrounds, can do it. It's such a driving factor for me that when I am so stressed out and worried, I remember that I'm doing this for the young kids, the next generation of STEM leaders. Would either of you do $200,000 for 20%? I would. For all the kids out there, I would say, don't be afraid to try new things. For all the young girls out there, remember that being nerdy is cool. I used to get told all the time that the things I did were weird or nerdy, and I was always seen as this little kid that was so random off doing her own thing. And at the time, I felt bad, but when I reflect upon it now, I'm thinking I should be able to do whatever I want. There is no concept of what a boy should do and what a girl should do. So if you feel yourself being exposed to stereotypes or feeling uncomfortable about what someone says, ignore them. And remember that you can do whatever you want.